This is a sports catastrophe production. Hey there, Heather Poe, there's Jeff Cutter Diamond welcoming you to another sports catastrophe birthday boy. And I know this birthday boy is dead, but his story has to be told. He is a fine guy with NFL films. And of course, as you, if you're watching this YouTube video, you'll see the visual of him with NFL films. He is one of the founders of NFL films. He was a good visual artist, and he made many highlight reels. And it was huge and all that. His name was Steve Sable, who was born October 2nd, 1942, in Morristown, New Jersey, the son of a filmmaker and an art collector. He attended Colorado College, majoring in art history, and was actually a running back at Colorado College. He was even in subject of a humorous article about his self expulsion exploits in 1965. So anyway, after graduation, he began his career in 1964 as a cameraman. When his father got the rights to the 1962 NFL game, title game at Yankee Stadium. With his degree in art history and experience playing football, Steve was uniquely qualified to make football movies. So, anyway, the company grew into NFL films. With Steve being a cameraman, editor, and writer. In the 60s and 70s. When ESPN was founded. In 1979. They, sent, they signed NFL Films. As a production company. And Sable was an honorary personnel in the 1980s. Giving all those. Highlight reels. And all that. So. Steve Sable knew what to do. And knew how to. Make everything right. Regardless of that, he won 35 Emmy Awards and was a big player in founding the NFL Network. In 1985, Steve took over NFL Films from his father, Ed. NFL Films was the first company to wire coaches and players for sound, as well as the first to use slow motion or montage editing in sports. The wiring coaches and players was huge because they managed to wire Hank Stram, the coach of the Chiefs, in Super Bowl four against the Vikings. And we got to hear firsthand about him meticulating the ball down the field. People running like it's a Chinese fire drill. And a certain play, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but yeah. He said, that works. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, Sable was named the Sports Executive of the Year in 2002 and received the Pete Rosell Award which was presented each year to someone who made an outstanding contrib contribution to the NFL and to pro football. Steve and his father, Ed, were honored in 2003 with the Lifetime Achievement Emmy for their sports filmmaking and all of that. So, anyway, that's that. And then, the Sable and the Sables were... And elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2011, which was very huge and all of that. And everything else. Anyhow, uh, Sable, Steve Sable, in his personal life, actually was married for over a decade to his first wife, Lisa, mother of his only child, Casey. But they divorced. Lisa remarried, and then Steve married his second wife, Penny Sable, of Romanian descent. He was the author of the poem, The Autumn Wind, adopted by the readers as an unofficial anthem. It was that first theme poem. You'll hear it every time for the readers. I can't remember what it is. I can't, I can't hum it. So anyway... It was huge and all that. Um, unfortunately for Steve, he had an inoperable brain tumor in March of 2011 and died of brain cancer 18 months after that. 
He died at age 69, a week after his father's 96th birthday for Ed Sable. He was given a video tribute by every NFL team prior to week three. And all that. So yeah, Sables did all that. And it was clear. Everything looked good. The funny thing was that Ed Sable actually outlived his son by three years, which was unusual and all that. But practically, I think of that Simpsons episode when Homer tells, I mean, Abe tells Homer, the greatest tragedy for a father in life is when he outlives his son. All that. But yeah, it was hard press that Steve Sable died so young. And you know, he was... The reason why NFL films was big and why football highlight films exist and how they captured the fancy of fans in the 70s and 80s before the VHS tapes came through and made things heavy. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.